Um, I just want to spend a moment with you because you've had a nasty injury. Where are we with your injury and when are we going to see you playing again? Well, I go from here, I see the doctors and physios and at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning I'm having an operation. So, oh, right. um, yeah, that's, that's where we are. Decent here. question then, please. <laughs> Is that yep. right? Yep. What's the, the my, operations uh, to the Achilles? My left Achilles is pretty much, well, I think my foot's been chopped off. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, 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 I mean, everyone knows now I was carrying a pretty nasty injury um, most of the summer. Um, and when I was sat on the balcony, I knew I couldn't go on any further. And um, it's, a, it's a tough moment for any player to, to have to hold a hand up and say, oh, I can't carry on, I can't play for my country anymore. It was anymore. a bittersweet thing, wasn't it? You were watching over the balcony and Alistair Cook was being interviewed by, I think, by Mike Atherton and he was backing you. And you must have known that you don't have to do that because I won't even be playing. Yeah, it, yeah. It was a, on the one hand, it was lovely to know that you had the support of your coach, captain and teammates, but on the other hand, it was the toughest thing to do, to tell Cookie that I couldn't carry on. Um, and, and I had to make that decision. It wasn't a medical decision, it wasn't a coach saying, thanks mate, but no thanks. Do you miss like it? You've been watching Just Butler do well. How, has, has it hurt or are you overjoyed at England having a, I'm not talking about the last three one days, but I'm, ta <laughs> I'm, ta I'm, ta <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about the test series. How can you not miss playing for your country? Um, for the last seven years, I've, I've had the best job in the world. I've had the best seat in the house to one of the England's finest ever <laughs> Bowlers, and in fact, a few of them. Um, I've played in an era, one of one of the best areas of I think of English cricket. We've won a lot of games, and um, as I say, I'm I'm a passionate Englishman. I lo I'm proud. I love playing for my country, um, and I think that's why I try to go on for as long as I possibly could because I couldn't bear um, not doing that when you know watching the boys walk out and not not be there. Um, with them. But having said that, when I'm not a player, I become a supporter like anyone else. And um, I was glued to the telly watching that test match at the Rose Bowl, watching Cookie get dropped on 13 mm. and punching the air going, come on, mate, this is, your, this is your day, and willing him on with what it seemed like everyone else at the Rose Bowl um, to get that score. And then England win that game. I, the one biggest regret I have is I wish I was in that dressing room. Because after the, the, yes, the, the few months that we've yeah, had... Yeah, yeah. One thing we, we remembered was how important it is to enjoy winning test matches because it's not easy. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> right. If, if Twitter can fire questions, so can you. So um, I'm only going to pick a couple. So who's going who's to get in first? Anybody like to ask a question? Yes, sir. agree with that. Uh, is there not a, case, a sense of overkill that we had two Ashes series last year, yeah. we've got another one next year. Uh, also with India we had five test matches crammed into a minuscule amount of time. Are the administrators too keen on... Good question. The, the, the question is that Ian talks a lot about the Ashes. Is there now suddenly too much Ashes cricket condensed into this short period? And is that killing it as a spectacle. Equally, uh, in general, do we think, your question, I mean, is there too much of everything right now? Five test matches against India crammed into 39 days. Um, uh, let's start with you. I mean, you, you've had to be on both sides of the fence here. You've spent some time as an administrator recently with BCCI. You've also been commentating on the game. What do you think about players' workload and, indeed, spectators' response to too much of the game? Yes, I think... Um there is a fair amount of uh, cricket that is being played uh, at the moment. Uh, I thought that if uh, the, the five test series had been spaced out in the sense that uh, you had a couple of uh, uh, three day games in between, it would have, from a, from a visiting team's point of view, uh, it would have certainly helped uh, some of the out of form players to try and get some form back. Some of the guys out of the 11 uh, who are part of the touring squad, they would have been able to make a case uh, for inclusion or for consideration in the, uh, in the team. But having five virtually back-to-back -back test matches with barely, what, five, six days between uh, certainly didn't help the uh, players. And uh, also, I, th I think to an extent, it uh, took uh, the, the interest uh, factor away uh, from the viewers as well, because they were getting a test match virtually every week. You don't want a test match every week. You want a test match after a, after a bit of a gap. And I think if that had happened with the, with, with the three-day uh, three matches in between, there would have been that much more interest. The modern players benefit greatly financially because there's so much cricket. Television pays more because there is more. Does the modern player feel that there's too much? 
probably speaking to the wrong bloke who's going under the knife tomorrow morning. Um, <laughs> it, it's, it's a catch-22, isn't it? From a player's point of view, you play when you're told to play. Again, um, you know, you... You want, to play for your, you want to play for your country, you're never going to go, oh no, actually I'm going to sit this one out. In fact, I know the guys don't want to do that. Um, but, on the other hand, there is a lot of cricket going on, and especially something like an Ashes. An Ashes series, the intensity is, is hyped up times ten. And, you know, I know for a fact that physically, not just physically, mentally, playing those ten te Ashes test matches in a row was as demanding a time for, for any player. Um, and I personally hope that never happens again. Do you agree with that? I think that, I think that the, the authorities will tell you that it's because of the World Cup and the reason that the scheduling has been uh, ashes, ashes, ashes. I agree with you. It should be special and it should be kept special. And I think people look forward to it. And if you're going to get a, a daily, a weekly dose or a monthly dose or every six months or a yearly dose, it doesn't have the same impact. And, and I think it needs to be kept very special, and that was the point I think I was trying to make uh, a little earlier. Um, so yes, but uh, I, think, I think it's probably a, a matter of sorting out the fixtures for the long term. Uh, you know, England haven't played South Africa for so for long, long and, yeah. Yeah, and we were one and two in the world the last time we, last time we played, and we're not played since, which I find ridiculous. Uh, but that'll be put right, of course, next winter.